China is facing international condemnation for its mass detainment of ethnic Uyghurs and its crackdown on Tibetans and people of various faiths. Uyghurs and Tibetans have long sought to make people aware of their plight, including at this demonstration in Geneva late last year. China has brushed off the criticism, saying Uyghurs are in vocational education centers to stop the spread of religious extremism and a surge in terrorist attacks in the autonomous Muslim-majority region of Xinjiang. Omir Bekali says he is a survivor of a so-called Uyghur re-education camp before he fled to Turkey last year. He said the sole purpose of the camp was to strip him of his religious identity, and his only crime was being Muslim. Having a beard is enough. Going to Friday prayers is enough. Reciting the funeral prayer is enough. Saying salamu alaikum is enough. Everything can be a pretext. The U.S. ambassador at large for international religious freedom, Sam Brownback, said churches are being destroyed and people's religious rights are being violated. China is at war with faith, uh, but it is a war they will not win. The Chinese Communist Party doesn't seem to trust its own people to allow them to choose their own path for their souls. There's over a billion people at stake uh, here. Brownback said the repression is worse since the Chinese Communist Party took control over religious issues. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo agrees. This is, I, I think we use the world as words, historic uh, human rights abuse, and we're working to convince the Chinese that this practice is uh, abhorrent and ought to be stopped. For Uyghurs and Tibetans separated from their families, increased pressure on China cannot come soon enough. Cindy Sane, VOA News, the State Department.